seems like a worst possible matchup, but we'll see. Who are you going? Oh, you're going Blue Wave against Sava. No, wait. Nope. Oh, okay, it's... it's so it's I am this. looking at... You're looking uh, at my here. screen, yeah. Right, yeah. Eradicator. Hello. Let's grab a dice. Alright, call it. Uh, evens as usual. It is evens. Oh, evens for the win. I'm gonna send one back. I'm sending two back. So, from okay. the initial get-go, what's your predictions here? So, this is Vanquisher against Blue Wave. Hmm. I mean, it sounds like Tony knows the deck, and I think Blue Wave can beat Vanquishers when piloted well, considering you plus so much you can refill the field anyway. So, yeah. I, I'm i going to be biased and say <laughs> Aqua Force is going to win. <laughs> Alright then. Right. What's gonna ha what's gonna happen is I'm gonna top deck Chloris right now, and then have that ready for his first try. Where I can just like guard with everything that he found. Great. Nice. Sounds good. But I do trust in your skills, Ben. So I'm I'm just being <laughs> biased. <laughs> right. Who's got the yellow cards? That's the key to the game here. Let's find out. Hit me. Oh! Oh, yellow card! <laughs> <laughs> yellow cards are strong, go ahead. Draw Some people are actually putting Tavas in Blue Wave just to get uh, the anti um, denial Griffin plays, but I think that's dumb. That seems kind of greedy in my eyes. Yeah, and it's 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 not really. Because if you're right, Tavas, you no longer have a Blue Wave Vanguard, no so all your skills go offline. Not a yellow card. Oh, but a grade 2, I needed that. The best grade 2. Alright, it's fine, watch me top deck one. Sad. Sad. Sad boys. <laughs> oh, two heal triggers, Jesus! Holy shit, I missed! <laughs> wow, this game is over! It's fine. You know how, the, you know how we deal with this? Let me, show you, let me show you how we deal with this. Oof. <coughs> Where's my one of OG Vanquisher? There we go. Ooh. Strong baby. Defensive trigger and then the stand doesn't go off. Let's go. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Show me a heal trigger. No. Nice. Oh, fuck. Nice. There's one Chloris. That's why you run for. <laughs> Take uh... it. Uh, 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 yeah, I have to take it. Grade 2! Nope. It's fine. That's a grade 2. It's fine. Stand draw. What's he gonna do? Rush me? <laughs> Let's go. Overextend. Let's go. Oh no. Boy. Oh no. Uh... I was kidding! That's deck thinning. Spicy. Nope. No deck thing, no deck win. <clears throat> but this does tell you oh, that he I will laugh. Uh, oh, okay. I thought oh, you were gonna. Oh go. no. Okay. Oh no. Yeah. All right. So that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> yep. I guess I take all of this. Fuck. Oh yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah, boy. Cool. Yeah. Keep, keep going. Keep going. Show me a crit. Oh no. <laughs> uh, crit power. Two foibles. And now no defensive trigger. <laughs> Quality. Am I gonna take the fourth one as a damage? Oh, defensive trigger. God bless. Uh, oh, he did. It. Twelve. You didn't. Didn't you put a crit on foibles? Uh, I did. Oh, oh. Okay, whoops. So, I thought I thought you put crit on Vanguard. That's not nah, good. Nah. So go ahead and, uh, 12. Um. 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 
It's ten. All right. Here's another ten. Ah, uh, sixteen crit. Sixteen crit. I'll take this one. I swear to God, if this is a great two, I'm gonna be mad. Three two. Oh, thank God. Okay, go ahead. Please. And I'm wondering, oh. you knew there was a, you knew there was a defensive trigger. So why didn't you take it so you could potentially get a second one? That's a big risk to take. No, no, take yeah, but you were gonna uh, take one anyway. Turn. Oh right. Uh, ten. No, because if I taken it, it would have the numbers would have still not worked out. Because it would still have been. Oh no, twelve versus. Yeah, no, because he was he would have been sixteen. So I was still would have taken the first one. Yeah, but no, I meant if you had guarded the first foiv. Wait, does that change anything? Yeah, it does. If you had guarded the title, but then not the first foivos, you would have taken two damage. You would be at seventeen, and foivos would have been at sixteen. Oh right, yeah, so sure. I mean, it works out roughly the same, I think. Like, I guess I saved myself ten k, but it's a bit whatever for that now. It's fine. Yeah, I just I have mean... to. I have to be a good player and swing at the title assault. No. <laughs> Good player, swing at the title assault. What is that? Fourteen? Yeah. Do I, uh, do I do I disrespect guard here? Now go for it. Nice. Watch him have a title in hand. Right, he's gonna have an, he's gonna have another foil boss or something. It's just gonna be infuriating. Uh, wow. It's funny you should say that. Right face skill. Oh no. <laughs> Quality. He... All right. So. Start with a nine. We're going sixteen. First drive check. Oh no! Draw a trigger. All power to boy boss. <laughs> Second drive check. Great. All power to boy boss, boy. That's well, fine. I've still got two heals left in the deck. All right. So, uh, twenty-one crit. That's not a heal. That's also not a heal. Nice. Uh, 28 crit. Still no heal. <laughs> Alright, so, um, th that occurred. Yes, this is, uh, this is, uh, <laughs> let's, let, let's go again, maybe. <laughs> nice and, uh, unused G-zones. It's almost it still goes to show that you don't really give a fuck about people not going G, because Foivos yeah. together with a grade 3 still Yeah, you were right. It's just... It's a lot scarier than I thought it would be. And yeah, Valios' right face skill also helps hit those numbers. Yeah, plus you draw, which makes you plus even more, even when they yeah. uh, stuck you. Yeah. Like, when I first saw Valios' first, like, the right face skill, I was like, eh, this seems kind of okay. And then having actually seen an action is like, Yo, holy shit. The yeah, problem the is a counter blast. Yeah, yeah, the problem is a counter blast, but it does let you hit those numbers even again. Yeah. Oh, baby. Oh. oh. Alright, so I'm gonna send two back. And hopefully, draw a grade one. Okay, I did it. Nice. All right. Oh, this hand is good for once. That's not great one. Go ahead. Oh, sick plays. Wait, 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 wait. Rest. Give oh. 3k. Oh. Counter charge. <laughs> Your yours. 11. Hit me. Bang. Oh shit. Crit power. <laughs> Heal. Nope. Hmm. That's a uh, problematic. Just swing for 14? Swinging for 14, take it. No. Draw trigger? No, heal trigger. This Draw is fine. Turn. This is fine. Uh, let's go. Yeah. Right, boy. Attack for 14. Mm. Disrespect guard? One's a pass. This is back card. Show you a crit. Nice. Nope. Can't do it twice. Lightning doesn't strike twice. That's my deck. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. 
Hmm. Hmm. I could do this. But I feel like I don't want to. Instead, I'm gonna play your game. Bruh! Look at this! Oh, the waifu comes back. Nine? Uh, yeah, five. Nine? What the hell is going on? <laughs> Defensive trigger. Yeah! Nice! No. <laughs> Take it. Huh. Oh, oh no! That's what we want to see. Hmm. How should I go about this? Clearly. So the reason I grade two stole them was because I'm banking on the knowledge that Sabreeze is too counter blast heavy for Blue Wave, so he's probably not going <laughs> to Sabreeze me. The worst he's going to do is like do the Foivor shit again, which sucks. But at least now I have um, Grizel, so like if he tries to like hit my Grizels, I can like start binding his stuff. Oh shit! There's a Chloris. Right. No. That's... I'm not, I'm just going straight balls deep right now. Okay. Hmm. Thirteen. Intercept. Sixteen van. No guard. Draw power. Second check. Yep. Uh fifteen twenty van. Ooh. I'll take that as well. Already. Everything turned out okay. Ride. Stride. Where's V Buster? Where's V Buster? So let's start off with sparking first. Yeah. Find one. Do it. Do it. Uh, bind oh, those. it doesn't kill the Chloris. He's actually a good player. <laughs> Draw Chloris, dump hand, bind everything else but Chloris. Nice. It's, uh, Instantly turn off Vanquishers. Fatin. Draw something good, please. <coughs> yeah, you're pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. And call a uh, Vian, and then we'll use V Buster. Uh, actually. Everything is a minus now. A painful one at that. Yeah. Which then procs Vian. The counter charge. She goes back. Actually, no. Vian is when it goes to the drop zone. Is V Buster not? Buster sends it straight to the bind. Nice. That's fine. Because I have I hard rod. It anyway. It's fine. I have hard rod for that. And I'll give 3k to... Hang on, how do these numbers wake up? Wake up? Wait. So V-Buster has 6 because of his own skill. Whoops. And then Vian has another 6. And then I guess I give it all to... No, Vian has 3. Wow, skilled. But then she also right, has I another plus. I need to bind one more, right? Yep. Uh, does Hard Rod go to drop then bind or just straight to yes. bind? Yes. Hard Rod is retire and then bind. Okay, so. And now, uh, actually, no. That one's costless, so. Now this procs. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. How deep do I want to go here? I think the answer is very deep. Wow. Hmm. Actually, no. She doesn't have plus nine. Sad. So I guess because of that, I guess I just go for Helena. Draw a card. Okay, that's that's good. I'll take those. 
So then that's 12, 16. Okay, the columns work out good. Excellent. So this is now 16k, and this is 11 plus 12 is 23. Not bad, not bad. I'll take that. So we'll go straight in with 16. So, everyone watching, this is where we show how bullshit Chloris is. <laughs> yep. As, as we all know, Chloris is not G-restricted, so... I will Bang. guard... Bang! Uh. <laughs> yep, so that's... 20... 31. Is, I, I'm, I'm overguarding just to turn off your thunder strikes. Oh, right, yeah, nice. Broken. So that goes in, I get on the 5k, so that's 26 plus 6 is 32, plus 5 is 37. Holy shit, he's got the PG as well, that's broken. <coughs> You'll turn on your thunder strike momentarily, isn't that great? Oh, so I can stand my Grizzel. That's something. Maybe. Now a big crit. Huh. Not quite. Aw, oh, sad. It's fine, it's a good thing Sigma doesn't need thunder strike. So this is now 11.23 still. 23 discards it, and I'll also throw this to guard it. Unfair. So that's uh, 17. Take it. Wow, he actually took it. Monster. And now I don't have a heal trigger, which is really bad. Draw for turn. Okay. How will I do this? Clearly, I will right face skill. Oh. People are oh. saying I've got to draw for my trigger, so let's just do the rest F. So I should probably just do that now. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Drew a heal. Better. Uh, <laughs> next, I'll stride into Flood. Oh. It's fine, we can survive this. Effect. Soul Blasting Yorgos. Yep. Lock you at 11. Mm. No, no Steve memes for me. Call. I'm just now looking at the Twitch chat. Hi, Chris. I will use Brutal Trooper skill. Yep. Okay, now. Do the waves match up. I can go wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four. Yeah, okay. So, let's go wave one to Vanguard. Intercept. Yes. Wave two, draw one. 26. Three and then zero, three and then zero. Uh... PG. Which does nothing! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Crit power. Uh, all to crit crits on four of us. Holy shit. Oh heal no. <laughs> Value. Heal the heal. Power to boy boss. Oh my god, he healed the heal! That's not fair! Oh my god, he's going on the PG! <laughs> All what right, are these? So what is this? 11, 13, 23 with the crit. 23? That's a... Uh, 15 guard. Take it. Take it and leave. Uh, This is... 29, no core skill. Uh, Heal trigger? And, sorry. Yeah. No miracle heal. Ugh. Yeah. And that is game. That so, is that is Chloris. That is Chloris. When you have a guarding skill that's not restricted by GB, that is some bullshit. <laughs> so, like, I think one of the things that we talk about a lot, Maxime, which is uh, like a while ago, we were saying how you know Vanquish is like sleeper OP. You know, it goes off the fact that you know, your, all your opponents' heal triggers by themselves, all the PGs by themselves. Like Vanquish is tier one point five. What does that put, what does that do to Blue Wave? Is this like secretly OP now as a result? Um, no, I think the thing is Blue Wave doesn't really top, so I wouldn't say it's a, a valid counter because it just doesn't happen. Yeah. Um. So 
the, the, the only reason that this was able to happen was because I full fielded and because Vanquisher's mechanic of letting me choose what to bind let me have Chloris live on his attacks. Exactly. Yeah. So if 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 my hand isn't suitable to full field, then Chloris gets popped into sleep, right? And then that obviously turns off Chloris. So obviously there's 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 that huge luck factor involved. And if when you have to like uh, result to lock in order to like uh, defeat a, uh, a certain deck. I don't think that really makes it better than that certain deck. Right, it's just a counter to a rogue. Yes. Yeah, that makes sense. By the way, right. Tony, did you forget to use your PG? Uh, uh, it was in drop. He only had one in I, drop. I didn't use it because there was no, there's no units to target with, and basically, if I did, then that would turn on Thunder Strike one for him. And right. then, I I know personally from myself playing Vanguisher that you can go from one to seven instantly. <laughs> okay. So because of that, I did not touch anything. Yeah, that makes sense. I think. All right. So there's the best matchup. What else have we got? The Gradora. Let's go. I don't <laughs> have that built, unfortunately. Damn. Alright, let's be brutal then. And I don't mean brutal trooper, ha ha ha! Badoomch. I mean, he's running Tavas, I can't imagine anything that's brutal to Tavas right now. Yeah, I don't think this is that good either, but I think it's probably like, <laughs> It's probably the best shot we have, maybe? Yeah, it is. Apart from Gridora. But yeah. even that is like... Very tough. Like, from what I've, like, looking... From what I know of normal Dark Face decks, and from what I've seen of Gridora, I think she has the similar problem that most normal control decks have, which is that they just can't find their pieces properly. Uh, thanks to BLAs for subscribing. Like, Gridora's, I mean, if she gets Gridora rolling, she's the same. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, Overwhelm is, Overwhelm is broken, but yeah, uh... Overwhelm is not a normal card. That's why she's 5 to 6, 8, 7, 8,000 yen. Yeah, it's ridiculous. What is but, this? Um... What is this hand? I guess I put that back. I guess I put this back. All right. And this. Going evens again. Go for it. All right. Eighteen. Please. I shall take the charge. Please, and deck. And I will. <sighs> I'll swap one out. Draw turn. Nice. Draw for turn. Nice, sir. Okay. Pull out. Go ahead. What do we got? All right. You'll do. You'll do. Swing. No guard. Show me a draw trigger. Not just any draw trigger. THE Get draw trigger! Oh. I'll show you a draw trigger. HOLY <laughs> SHIT! <laughs> <laughs> Judge? Quality. Judge? Bam draw for turn. Alright, Sabreflu. Yeah, hit Attack me. Attack for eight. Bang! Draw trigger! What is this? It's not okay. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Okay. Psalm, Psalm, got a big question for you. Sure. New or old art of Marika? Ooh. Uh, new. Ooh. Ooh okay. Now, now, now for Ben just to piss him off, I play two and two. Ew. Yeah. No, I can't handle that. I'm gonna ride a grow heater and show you the destiny. Yes. I'm then gonna Conroe. To get a Gatling claw. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't tempt me. I almost I thought about it. Get a Conro. Show you the destiny again. Yeah. Get another destiny. <laughs> Discard. Dumjid. And then <coughs> bash face. Yeah. Smash me, Dad. Draw trigger. Oh, I'll take it. I'll Good take it. Trigger. Aww. I can also heal a heal trigger. Set up my G gods. Thank you. Ooh, spicy, spicy. Uh, well, 10k, so my titles don't do shit, so I'll just. This is cool. Notice how, like, the edge of Thavas's thing lines up perfectly with the blue line here on the circle. Oh, oh my OCD oh. is happy. Boop. Oh, I can't even move it. <laughs> nice. I'll take it. Give me the counter blast. Heal. Crit power. 
Yep. And Another one. Nope. Oh. This That's is a turn. It's pretty ideal. That's pretty ideal. Yeah, let's go, baby. Bang. Bye. And then stride. Ben, play some sad violin music. Oh, I should, shouldn't I? Let me try and... <laughs> Hang on, let me pause what I've got going on now. Let me pause this, uh... Kantai music. This lovely, soothing BGM. Which I can't do because I can't find the thing in my... We can play this in the meantime. No one can hear that because the sound is too low. Brilliant. Oops. All right. What do we? What do we go into? He seems decent. He draws me a card. No, let's just BM. Oh. What? Do I go for He's the draw? No, He's gonna like see my draw trigger and turn it off. Yeah, man. Can't let you have that third draw. Just deal one damage. Oh, no strikes going? No. Okay. Okay, not bad, not bad. Not great, but not bad. Uh, we'll call a glow heater. <coughs> and then call this dragon here. Yeah. Then start of attack, dragon happens, blazing, grow heater gets 5k. Yeah, so 10 to guard. Yep. Don't uh, you think it's kind of sad how the new GRs force you to just stride those all the time? A little bit, yeah. A little bit, but at the same time, not really. I it's, think the only I time it like... makes me sad is when overwhelm costs 8,000 yen a piece. I, I like Alexander because like it's a GR that in, that turns on the deck, right? Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of Tavis turn, the GR that I don't like is Overwhelm, where where it's so Vanguard centric, where like basically you, regardless of the situation, you stride into Overwhelm. Yeah. I like, think it's also like context dependent. Like you know, with Alexander, it's like he's super good, yes, but oh yeah, I forgot to draw for the dragon. Whoops. Yeah. Go ahead. But like. You know, Alexandros is really, really good, but sometimes you just want a Lambros. Sometimes you yeah, like. Yeah. Sometimes you just want a Wailing. Whereas with Mega Colony, like everything else is so bad. Like, <laughs> Mega Colony could literally just have like, you know, you know what Mega Colony wants that one gear, that one a uh, gear Chronicle stride that unflips a uh, G unit. You yes. Just going to like your like fifth overwhelm, <laughs> or sixth overwhelm. So this is a lot. Oh, PGs, nice. Come on, Inspire Yell, come back to me. Nah. One, two, two, cards in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Easy. Stand draw. Stride. Into. Feels bad, no heal trigger, therefore, Alexandros. I know this guy has a heal trigger, so I'm gonna call Saberful and give her resist. Nice. Uh, next, I will do one, two. Yeah, we'll do it like that. So, I'm going 12 to Vanguard. Hmm. Hmm. I'll give you five. Alright. This will be 14 to Vanguard with Resist. 14 with resist. Let's see. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's not great. I'll take that. <gasps> okay, no trigger. Safe. Wave three. Draw one. Mm -hmm. No! So that's 26, 31. Vanguard. Yeah. 31, 26, 36, 46, 56. 31 to 56 is... 
No pass. Hot. Going to Abdul. Abdul Salam. And then we'll. Here? Yeah, and then I'll heal trigger just to counter charge immediately. Yeah, so 10, 15, 30, 45, 56. No pass. Yep. One, two. Oh, that, oh. Wow, no triggers. Brilliant. Yeah, Drew. He's set up for Megiddo. <laughs> oh, shit. Ooh. You... Uh, am I set up? Okay, I, I guess I could Megiddo right after. <laughs> it's the breeze. <laughs> Hmm. Would Megido help though? No, it wouldn't. It's just yeah. funny. Stand, stand. Yep. Uh, plus five each, obviously. Mm -hmm. This will be 19 draw one. I'll take that as well. Oh, defensive trigger. Power to Vanguard. 16. Alright, so this will actually whiff then. Yep. So whiff. End of turn. Draw two. Yep. I mean, end of attack. Yeah. Draw two. That's it. Balance dot deck. One, two, so how much do I have in hand? I have thirteen. <laughs> nice. See now that's balance. Exactly. Uh, beginning of right phase, we'll soul blast the one. To pop Sipler. Bye bye. And then I'll stride into the latest off my favorite meal at KFC. The Zinger Burger. Yum. And then we'll actually use the stride skill this time just to dig for an overlord. Yeah. Whiff, 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 whiff. There. Nice. <laughs> we'll call another grow heater. Show mm -hmm. you the destiny I just added to my hand. Down comes a bird. Come on, go on the bottom. Huh. Oh, that's, that's fine. No, I'm, I'm not complaining about that. And then shuffle. Ben, I'm not a pro Overlord player, so I'd like to learn. Why would you go into Ziegenberg over Purge when your hand is small compared to his? Uh, because he's got 13, and I feel like I need to pressure that a lot more. Like... I don't doubt this deck's ability. Oh, uh, to my overlord, I don't doubt this deck's ability to find cards. Like you've got the bird, which is a free plus. You've got stride skill, which is nice. And in my list, I'm only running three copies of the purge. So mm -hmm. I don't want to waste them all straight away, because if he survives just one of them, then that puts me in a really bad position. So I'd rather have Ziegenberg first. Like Ziegenberg is still a plus in this case. It's just not plussing as hard as purge. Yeah. But I'm I'm also attacking his hand more aggressively. Because <coughs> like All right, with, fair enough. Like with purge, you can just like guard it and then be done yeah. with it, and then with purge, I can just like throw the PG at it. But... And then and then I'm dead next turn. Whereas with this, like he has to deal with two 26k swings, which gives me a chance to like take some critical pieces out of his hand. The chance is low, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I think. I think it's better than risking, like, trying to bank it all on a purge turn. That could just end up going nowhere. Like, right, but I, I wouldn't bank it on a purge turn. I would bank it on the fact that your hand just grows exponentially. But I mean, yeah. it's only plus one more, so I get it, I guess. Yeah. It's the case of, like, if I go into the purge, the ceiling is a lot higher, but the floor is a lot lower. And yeah. right now the situation is bad, so I'd rather have the higher floor so that I can stay alive. Gonna call a booster for that glow here. I'm gonna call an up peak. Which right. makes him 21. Uh, no, no, no. You have to be on a Vanguard strike. I mean, Overlord strike for the second skill. I do. So it's just 13. 13 makes this nice and five. Mhm. Mm then, nope, not boosting. 26. So perch would have been more threatening than no, because your two rear guards would be way more gigantic. Yeah, maybe in hindsight that would have been correct. I will throw you a PG. But then at the same time, like he's got the PG guaranteed, so yeah, I know it comes out the same. Check one, heal goes off. Check two, stand, stand this. Wow, okay, I guess strong all power is going here. 
or are yep. games skip? Oh! Sorry, those two are here. Naughty triggers. And then. Now we the imagine second... this was Spurge. <laughs> yeah, good point, good point. Uh, we'll put the crit on Vanguard and the power on this one. Sure. Whoops. Uh, da -da -da. So that's now 23, and this is going to be 17, 22. 21, 21. Yeah. So we'll go with this one first. Take it. Nice. Bah. Swing. 33? I'm gonna have to throw a G guard here. Uh, this is one, two, three. So, ice barrier is not on. Uh, no, this is four. Oh, is it four? Yeah, one, two, one, three, two, four. Three. Oh, cool. So ice barrier is on. So that's thirty-six. Yep. Here's forty-six. Yep. To Which your is thirty-three. So no pass. Happy. Which means nope. I can just give you this instead. Oh. Abusing the fact that he's got multiple grade threes in hand, <laughs> and then that's... No, he's throwing away that so he can Meggy do. Nice. <laughs> Twenty three. Hold up. Uh, yep. Only one heal, so need to give you this and nice. this. Yes. All right, that's it. All right, draw. All stride. Into actually make it though. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Who else but Alexandros? Yep. Your hand is eight. Eight. Okay, I think I can shred that. Call oh. and give resist. Yep. Uh, let's go. Oh shit! Wow. Hmm. So, can't attack with Thavis first, so. Just gonna have to go with. 11. We'll throw down No Guard and take it. Power to Vanguard? Yep. So, I'm gonna attack your Glow Heater right here. Sure. This one is to Vanguard. Where is he? Bang. So first of all, use the two heal triggers to counter charge the counter blast that pay for one for. And then here are the overlords going back. Spicy, throw away the overlord just to turn on the defeat flare. Yep. But that's still hitting, unfortunately. So I'm gonna give you a two to pass. Two to pass? Petros! No. Petros! Oh shit. Actually, cards in hand now? Uh, five. Five, huh? I'm gonna give it all to here. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh shit! And I'll give this one here. <laughs> so, skill. Mm hmm. Flip over. Flip over Comtas. 20k each. Wave 4. Yep. So... 20, 31, 36. 36. That's 31. 36. 41. Once more. <sighs> no heal triggers. Unfortunate. Dang, Alexandros gets there. I mean, you bound all your heals already. Yeah, I, I use them all. Yeah, I like. I don't think going in the purge in that turn would have been correct anyway, because I know that he has two Thavises in hand, so he's gonna stride and hit me regardless. Oh yeah, he would. Yeah, like so. I like. I need to play around that. I think Ziegenberg, like, if I had known that I was gonna get three triggers, then maybe purge would have been better. But like, at the, at the baseline, like like I said, the highest ceiling is that Ziegenberg on its own just takes a bit more shield from hand. Yeah, but your, your rear guards would have been. A bit bigger, but 
like I said, like if I because I didn't know my triggers. If I knew for sure I was getting a stand, then hell yeah, like go for it. But yeah, I, I no. didn't. Yeah, I didn't want to bank on that. And what about the ace? Or is the neg two not? Or is the neg two the, like the, the, the ace is bad? Like the ace is just bad now. It's unfortunate, so like, but like he's there just to trigger, just to trigger on stride skills and van overlord names. Okay. All right, damn. So, so the choice there was either purge or Vikenberg then. Pretty much. Man, I want to play Thavas now. All right. Here. <laughs> Are you going to use the deck? Yep. All right, I'll play something else. Featuring. I'll be right back in three minutes. Yeah. Yep. Featuring Bubble Edge Draco Kid. All right, what should I play? Oh god, why did I shuffle that? And I had to go reset everything. Right, I'll bring up my board journal. Yeah, I'm definitely uh, I'm definitely not at my prime today. I'm back. Welcome back. That should not be in there. That should. Oh man, this stride zone is all shuffled. I need to fix this right now. That should not be in there either. What are we missing? I think I'm missing a dismal. Where's that dismal? And this, kids, is why you name your cards in Tabletop Simulator. I thought I saw a dismal, actually. Oh. Or else. Okay, so what is missing? Let's go through this again real quick. What's we got? Oh, there he is. Yep, you're right. There's Wailing. There's my Alex's. Megiddo, Comfav, Lambro, Sabreeze. Alright, we're good. Nice. Alright, party time. Draw five. Hmm. I should let you call this time. I'll take evens this time. Oh! Evens the god. Alright. I'm going to. Against that deck. I'm gonna send one back. Hmm. This is not ideal. Quality redraw. Mmm. Bit of an issue. Alright. All right. Oh, good draw. Top draw. Nice. Go. Draw for turn. Oh, okay. I think I can do something here. Oh, it's Jacob out. Young says, "Oh no God, chat, I have yet to have a game where Bubble Edge didn't get shot before my stride turn." But that would be the same with Nitros, though. So yeah. yeah. Well, good thing uh, Great Nature has no retire options other than himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Great Nature will just kill themselves. Ha ha ha! Swing. I shall take that. Oh, Orthia. Get that telescope counter blast. Alright, so I will ride into this new card. Yep. Artistic Ocelot. Which is basically a big I'll... belly exclusive binoculus. Yep. I will call the chameleon. Yep. I'll call my boy Mike Saburo. Yep. Affected chameleon. Yep. Actually, let me get some uh, markers here. So I get the tutor here. Yep. Now, I will attack for 14 and give this plus 4k. Mm -hmm. And the retire. Yep, I'll take it. First check. Nothing. Alright, so this is 10, 14. 
Mm. I'll take that as well. This retires. Search my deck for... Where's that boy? Rhino? Yep. Oh, Rhino. I will use this effect. Get another Chameleon. Yes. Okay, so he probably already has a Belly in hand. Interesting. But I'm at 3 damage, so I probably want to actually ride. It's artistic or ocelot, not autistic. As in like... Artistic. As in like he does art. Not he's on the spectrum. <laughs> Just answering Jacob in the chat. Uh, do I want to ride? I don't think I want to ride. But if I don't ride, he can still just do grade 2 shit games against me like before. This sucks. I think I have to ride, which is unfortunate. Just like farm back some hand. Hit me. Watch great nature destroy Kathos. Draw, please, <laughs> draw, please. Oh, it'll do, that'll do, that'll do. One. Two. Alright. Boop, 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 boop. Draw for turn. Let's ride Big Belly. Mm -hmm. Ride Let's try Burrow. Oh. Call Rhino. This gets the 4k and the uh, retire draw. Yep. Stride. Barrowall. I will call Crayon Tiger. Oh no. <laughs> I will call Mike Saburo. Tutor to the Rhino. Yep. Barrowall effect. Soul Blast 1. Flipping up. Primters. Did you know that on release, Barabul was $3? Yep. Yes. And I was like, One. why is this card not more expensive? Because Overwhelm. Because <laughs> Overwhelm took the hype. Alright. So. How many cards will I shred from Ben's hand? All of them. Probably all, right, so all of them. Success. This gets another 4k. Yep. And I, Tom. And, and Tom. Yep. So this will be 23. With an on-hit draw. 23. Da, da, da. And then I'll stand again. Yeah, I'll just take it. On-hit draw. Let's go... Crayon Tiger for 20. Restand, 4k, dope and draw. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll give you 10 to... <coughs> Go barrel wall. This oh, is PG. 31. A ditching Malika. Drive 1. No crits, please. Drive 2. Oh no! Crit power. <laughs> Another Drive one. 3. Oh. So. Alright. Can I even Zero. guard that? It's 24. 31. 31. 36. 43. <laughs> 43, 21. I just can't guard that. That's unfortunate. That's yeah. very unfortunate. It's fine. I will get a heal. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Skilled. Second damage. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> okay. Um, I don't believe I get the draw again. I don't. No, it's once per turn. Yeah, that's why. So, uh, end of turn. Draw two. Two, two to three. one. Yep. I will... Tutor another Rhino. Madman. And this dies. This dies. Yep. And that is my turn. Let's draw. All stride. Let's see. Let's see. I guess when in doubt, eh? Yeah. <laughs> when in doubt. When in doubt. Stride skill. Ow. Make a Thavas. Yes. How now? How do I combo this? So I definitely bubble edge to the Thavas. Yes. Then. 
what pos how do I position these? Are you actually asking, or <laughs> I'm, I'm 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 just thinking real quickly because I'm okay. okay. I'm thinking I do this. I think that's correct. I I would actually put the Ortia behind the Tavas. Really? Yes, because you've already given the bubble edge skill to it, which means you can actually draw on the yeah. Tavas restem. Right. Okay. That makes Regardless, sense. Regardless, yeah, you, yeah. you will lose the five k after, but that's banking on if I don't critical trigger. I mean, defensive trigger. I mean, but like that, the attack's gonna whiff, so I'm just gonna draw a card, right? Like, I think that's fine. To just draw a card. Uh, it's it won't necessarily whiff if he gets no defensive triggers. It doesn't. Yeah. Six plus seven. Right, okay, yeah, it could still hit. All right. Going to eleven, Alexandro skill will bump you up to sixteen. Yeah. Then you'll go back down to eleven, which all hits if I don't get a trigger. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Then it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, that works. Do I have the counter boss for that? One for Thavas, one for Orthia, one for Alexandros. Okay, yeah, that that works. Nice, 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 nice. You will just use everything. Yeah, I will end up using literally everything. But that's fine, because I'm going to draw tons of cards. So, 11 at Vanguard. Defense. Sad boys. Nope. Oh, thank god. <laughs> so then, that's 11, 14, 18, 16. draw a card. Toss your chameleon. Yes. Then, swing goes into soul. Vanguard gains 5, draw a card. 31, I will G guard. Yep. Let's go into... This card is so cute. I know, right? It's great. I can't wait for the release of Zoo. Yeah, I'm gonna go into... No, that's the wrong one. Kundalini. Ooh. Give the retire and counter charge here. Yep. And I'll also throw... That makes 31, so I'll throw a crit for 2 to pass. 2 to pass? Brutal. Watch me whiff. Watch me, Nene. Nay -nay. Oh, 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 oh. Heal's good, heal's good. I'm gonna resolve my heal first. Um, hmm. Hmm. So if I put the heal on the Thavas, that makes it 16, which will negate the minus 5k from Orthia. So even if he gets at least one defensive trigger that goes through. So it means he can take the first one and then has to guard the second two. Or guards the first, takes the second two, which is still fine. I think that's a smart line of play. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on the Thavas. Now watch me yeah, get another trigger. Yeah, because Nature needs pieces, so if yeah. he needs to deplete his hand. Nice. Yep, I called Ooh. it. Called it. Uh, but still, if you give it all to Thavas, Thavas now, exactly. It it's just even scarier, which is nice. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then Alex flips a breeze. <laughs> it is, like, it's almost all. It's almost never worth it to bank on the vanguard because your rear guards will be re-standing and be scary anyway. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I think Alexander is a good design because it makes you respect the rear guards rather than just go like. Oh, vanguard. hang on! I just realized I can't afford all of it. Wait, why not? As in, I can't do Sipla twice. Oh. Well, that's. Oh fine. yeah, but that's normal, That's though. fine. Yeah, that's you just fine. Focus on the Thomas. Yeah, we'll just go 11 at the Vanguard again. Why? Oh wait, no, sorry. That way 4, yeah, yeah whoops. I'm stupid, I'm stupid. Yeah, yep. Draw 1. So way 4, this is... 21. 21. No, 30, 26, no, no, because 26. of... Yeah, because of because Alex. Because of the trigger. Yeah. Yep. 26 with a crit. Mother... <laughs> 26 okay, 10, 5, 5, 15, 20. Okay, I need to no guard this. Ooh. I can do it. I can do it, Ben. I can do I can do it too, Ben. Oh, I can't do it. Right. Oh. So just to answer, oh. sorry, quickly. The reason I can restand Davas is because his restand skill is GB2, and I wasn't at GB2 when I attacked him with Wave 1. I was only GB1, so the skill never went off. Because I was only GB2 when I activated Alexandro's skill. Like, yeah, that's pretty strong. And then draw more cards. Oh! Instantly refill your hand. That's naughty. Well, no, I think more, right? Because I. You would have. Uh, that was, was this after like Sipa's draw, triple drive, and Persona crit? Yeah. Then you get two more draws. Yeah. Now I get one more. 
Like this would have been this would have been the size of my hand at the end of all, all of it. Which is I think is one more than I started the turn with, which is pretty good. And considering you went into the uh, attack step with one card in hand, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Right, let's Quote go. Unquote, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> pretty good. Man, who even needs saber flow? You just put your bubble edge on your Thavos and you do dumb shit. It's Easy. because you don't always have counter blast. Yeah. Right? Like the fact that you can go double saber flow with Alexandros and not use any counter blast on rear guards, but still draw four is insane. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like one thing that I find interesting though is, even like because of what Orthia does for the deck, like everything put together, despite how good everything is, and despite how good Alexander's is, you're still like, oh, but if he gets a defensive trigger, it's gonna suck and stuff like that. But it's still okay. It's a first world problem, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, give me a sec. What next? Let's try. Let me, I'm gonna try blue wave. See how this fares together. Can we quickly establish that Aqua Force hasn't lost yet? Yes, <laughs> that's very important. say. <laughs> Regardless of how bad it's looking, Aqua Force has always won today. <laughs> Thanks, Kidani. Hmm. What do I think about this hand? Ooh, this is not good. Alright. I'll call evens again, because even's the best. Hmm. Thinking about I'm thinking about this now okay, because never mind, it's odd. You first. Yeah, I'm just thinking about like do I want to put one more back? Cause I'm very used to playing Luard and his Abyssal Owl and the way you play around that. But Varagios is not Abyssal Owl. Just put Baragios away. Yeah, I was, yeah, I think I have to. Just because I need to ride. Luard can get away with just sticking at grade 2. Because good design. Okay, this is good. Alright. Let's go. Ooh. Alright. Go ahead. Nikki, draw. Interesting choice. What can I do here? Attack. No guard. Draw. What does a squirrel One do again? To deal with. Uh, success, end of turn when it's retired. I uh, search for a grade 2 or higher. Right. GB. Seems seems fair. Swing. Search for Crayon Tiger. Uh, no guard. Cool, Nikki. I just thought about the fact that Chloris also fucks with Rhino. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Dirty card. The rhino says from hand, right? Rhino says from hand, yeah. Ugh. Oh no, here it comes. So consistency. Wow. Stacker. PT PTSD. <laughs> All right, let's go. Fourteen. Uh, I take. Defensive trigger. Oh, baby. It's okay, because... It's still hitting, so I know. Because it's still 14. And now I can give you 5k. Yes. Uh, end of turn. Tutor for the Rhino. Counter Blast 1. Tutor for the... Critical Trigger. Mm -hmm. Shuffle. Ooh, that's very handy. I like that a lot. We go into Valios and swing. Hit me. Draw, baby. Nice and yellow. Another Chloris. Oh, there we Ooh. go, boys. We're in. We're in. Right. Damage check. Go ahead. Here's the interesting issue, though. As Blue Wave, you need more counter blast, but if you let him hit you too much, he will draw a lot. I would yeah. draw like a dog. Right phase. God damn. So, I will. Crayon Tiger. This has Tiger. literally been the exact same game for Great Nature. <laughs> yeah. So far. Well, that just that just says something for its consistency, right? Yeah, I know. 
I read it myself. Air quotes consistency. Consistency. Okay, it's not Call a crayon tiger, guy. but it's basically crayon tiger. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Eight crayon tiger deck. What's up? Battle will skill. Yep. Pop this out. Flip. Printers. I think it's interesting how Great Nature got everything they wanted, apart from deck filling, but then the control meta still makes it not enough. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you'd be I surprised. Am... I was playing, like, I was testing Chaos against Great Nature. Like, not new Chaos, but, like, just uh, Clan Booster Chaos. And it was actually really hard, because, like, he just does this, like, on the first early turns. Like, you know, Grade 2 rushes you, draws a card, searches a Grade 3, retires his field, first stride, retires his field. And there's only so much you can do without, like, without heal, turbo heal trigger into Deluge first stride. Yeah. Like, the games where I did that, I won. But the games where I just had to go universe, universe, like, he just got too much back out of it. It's really tough. Alright, so I'm not success yet. So I'm just going 19 to Vanguard. And I can use grade zeros. <sighs> but I'm not going to, I think. Because I think the same same issue with last time. Like, the reason I guarded the way I did last, last game is because... The draw is once per turn, so if he hits now, he draws a card, fine. I can guard this, and I can guard this, and then he hits me again, as long as it doesn't have a crit and I'm still fine. It gives me the counter blast I need, and I can still set up my G guard combos. So I'll take it. Draw one. Dang it. This is 19. We stand in plus 4k. Mm -hmm. And now I'll Galphilia. Because it's success plus another 4k. Barrel wall attacks boosted into soul. Mm -hmm. So this is 31, 36, 40. So 36. 36. How much is the rhino right now? Rhino is will be attacking last time for this is 16, 27, 27. 34. 34. And that will be wave 4. So assuming no triggers, I could Ice Barrier. That's pretty hot. We'll go for it. Or PG. First. Second. Oh, there's a Hero trigger. doesn't go off, but plus five. Yep. And then and this will be... why did you be... get rid of Arsenal Fleet? Because I can... Oh yeah, whoops. Wouldn't you rather use it as stripe? Yup, yup, yup. Let's discard that Valios instead. Whoops. Like, for some reason, my brain was just like, oh, I have a Gallias in hand. I was like, no, I rode him. Oops. <laughs> so this will be... 36. Which no longer gets blocked by Bice Barrier. Brilliant. I think you would take this. Because 4 is the sweet spot for the deck. Because so I take 1 for the stride skill, 1 for the restand engine. Yeah, I think I can one. take this. Yeah. One for Dagger, Dagger Master, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. So, end of turn, draw one, retire, retire. Or Ice Barrier into Megiddo. Oh, oh. Pull out all of this one Valios. Alright. This is actually pretty good. This is actually pretty good. That makes columns as well. <clears throat> All right, so right phase counter blast one, one two. Yeah, so cool arsenal fleet with the stride skill. He gets two k. Then draw a card. Nice. All right then. Oh, the hard nut when you use a Valios' right, right face skill. Call one. Oh, I should probably stride first. Draw stride yeah. father. Yeah, whoops. Oh, actually, why did you not... Oh, did you just top deck Galias? Yeah, I top decked off the stride okay. skill, so... But we'll call him anyway. And do you want to know why it's all okay? Because I have Malika. And then... Counter Blast 1 for Dagger Master. Yeah. 
then Brutal Trooper. Oh, right. the value. And then a Chloris. Two stacks. Did you pay the Soul Blast for Valios? Oh yeah, I should probably do that, shouldn't I? Soul Blast this Galias. Lock you at 11. Oh, this is where I'm going to start hitting those defensive triggers. Oh, baby. On, like last game. All right. Now see. Wait. One, two, three. F no, hang on. Okay, that works out. Because I'm not going to use Galliasa's skill. Da, da, da. One, two. Three, four, yeah. I can. I, I still get there without it. Mainly because yeah. I don't want to discard this heal trigger. Good idea. So we'll just swing for 17, 24. Nope, less than that, hang on. I was like, 24? 19, what? 19, yeah, I can't count. 19. Yes. Chameleon. Chameleonaire. Then Chameleon. this will be 17 with restand. Yes. 17, 17 requires a 10. I think I. I G guard here. Yes. Because I ain't got shit else. Uh, I will go Kundalini again. Mm hmm. Yep. Counter charge here on death. So then we'll swing, counter blast one, flip a tetra boil, get the effect, draw two cards yeah. from the stacks. Oh, and then oh, that's no guard the first one. Sure, so twin drive. Oh! Wow, the oh! <laughs> Man, this just gets better and better. Aqua power to two. power to Arsenal fleet. Second check, title. Nice. Wait, why power to Arsenal fleet? Why not just stack it on yourself? Because Arsenal fleet's not restanding again. No, but he's gonna get one more attack off, and I'd rather have Arsenal that because it's gonna be—they're gonna be. There'll be twenty-six across both sides. But how will Arsenal be the attack again? It won't. It's just saying like it'll be sixteen, plus another five, twenty-one. Like, I'd rather have the twenty-one here than a twenty-six again on the Vanguard because I'm drawing cards anyway. Because this will have a crit na natively because of Dagger Master, so you'll have to yeah. regard this anyway. Maybe, is my thinking. I mean, I, I, well, my, my reasoning here is uh, you don't have stand triggers, right? No. Um, there's no way that you can restand Arsenal Fleet. So you just stack all the power here. But you have to PG Tetra Boil or Overguard anyway, so having that extra, extra 5 strong K, yeah. Arsenal Fleet is valuable. Because if he gets another crit or something now, Arsenal Fleet will be really annoying to guard as well. No, I already, I already did both my drive checks. Stand. No, no, like, yeah, Tetra Boil will be my last attack. Yeah, Tetra Boil will be the last attack, so, like, wouldn't you... Want to put the power here just in case? Oh I don't right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was stupid. Yeah. No, I, I still don't think I put the power on Tetra Ball yet because I still have this one attack, and it'll just be for sixteen. But keep it, keep in mind that he will probably l just let that Arsenal fleet go through regardless, because he will probably want to guard the big attack from Tetra because it has a crit by default. Maybe. Okay, sure. Let's put the five on the Vanguard then. Wait, wait, so shouldn't Arsenal be standing right now? It is standing right now. Is it? Yes. Oh my god, on my screen is rested. Holy sh- okay. Oh my- I was so confused. <laughs> <laughs> right, there we go then. Okay, nice. so I take one damage here? Yeah. Sorry, oh my gosh. Well, Alright. Uh, power here. Yep. And then I can now- so this will be- yeah, it will be 17 again because it keeps the 4k for the turn. Yeah, okay. And then oh I gosh. then oh, discard two cards. Here. Yeah. No, you discard one. Oh, right. Yeah, discard the Aqua Force and then restand this guy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the entire time I saw it rested on my screen. I was like. Right, okay. <laughs> nice. Okay, so this is 17 again, right? Yep. Uh, I'll have to take it. Nice. Uh, Did it you heal. just take it? No, he took the no, Tetra Boy. No, I, I, I took. I took that one and I took this one. Yeah. Uh, I will heal off the Kambulian. Yep. Uh, power to Mike. Yep. So then swing again, draw two more cards. So now uh, this one's P 
PG. Sure. Here, okay. I will PG. Yeah. Because he's afraid uh, of the crit. Draw. Value. Oh, another PG. And a PG. All right. So, so much. Delivery skill. Yep. I will soul blast. I will counter charge. Draw one. Counter charge. This PG is insane, by the way. Like, it, I I don't understand why how it's fair. It's just not fair. I mean, you usually don't have the soul for it. Yeah, that the the, the soul is a hard part, but. I've been top decking a lot of my pawn berries, which is lucky. So, draw for turn. I will stride. Into. Oh, who would have guessed? Another Our... barrel wolf. Oh. Wow. Is, is my dog hurt on the stream? A little bit. Oh, damn. <laughs> I, like, I, I, I like dogs, though, so. Yeah, dogs are cool. So, yep. stack. Yep, yep, draw yep. Here. Yep. Uh. This seems awkward, having so little hand as great nature. You'll get it back. Let's call... Crayon. And I will use Better Wall skill. Mm -hmm. Pop up. I shall flip up. Yeah, let's flip up. Nanogarm. Yep. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Alright. It's 12 to the front. And because success... Hang on, hang Rhino on. Rhino gets another 4. Hang on, hang on. Are we just going to go for the counter yep, now? Yep. Yeah. We've reached that stage. Okay, so he has 12. Oh, actually, no. I forgot I hit in a, another barrel. So they're all at plus 16. I'll be right back, my dog, uh... Yeah, yep. Needs, needs attention, yep. Sixteen, 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 then because of success, this gets another 4k, Four, so this yep. will that 20. Yep. Alright. Let's see if this one can shred that hand to pieces. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Let's go... 31 to Vanguard, no zeros. PG with... Discarding title. Yes. Alright. Then we're going Crayon Tiger. Skill, Counter Blast, Restand, plus 4k. Draw on death. This will be... I'll take this one. 29. Hit, draw one. Bear wall attacks at 31 plus 15, basically, so 46. Ooh. Nice! Yeah, bear Whoops. wall is that OP. Okay, well. Uh, put you there. Okay, draw one. There we go. Alright. So that is, once again, 31, 46. 46. 46 with triple drive, that puts you up to 61. Can I breach 61? I think the answer is no. Actually, do you have a heal trigger already in here? You do, so I you do. could. I could. Well, no, because Chloris went, it's past the point of Chloris going off, so. Oh, at the beginning of the cards. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hang on. Wait, this deck still has a second year one. This is meant to be a second Galifia. Whoops. Let's uh, put that where it's meant to be. I wish I had a second year one right now, though, actually, to be honest. <laughs> Unfortunate. So, I can ear one is once. And that gives me plus 15. So that's 30, 41. Plus another 16. 15 is... 56, which is not enough. Wait. No, I'm being stupid. Holy moly. I'm being very stupid. Alright, G-God once. Glorious. <laughs> With Ice Barrier. Uh, That's not Ice Barrier. With Ice Barrier, who doesn't get his skill off, but then I'll use the heal triggers. The counter charge one. 
Then I'll heal a get G God again. This time with Galifia, who does go off to get 5k. So that's 20, 36, 35, 46. Hold up, sorry. I... Yep. Are you disconnected or something? Uh, ben, I'm, yep. I was away for a second, but are you considering that you can get extra heal counter charges if you use Chloris to recycle one of them first? Uh, you've, the problem is I've already missed the Chloris' timing because it's at the beginning of the guard step. And they weren't... Yeah, no, 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 you, you would have to do it in the next attack, of course. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Are you able to hit those numbers without doing this? Because now no. you're wasting... I heals, I'm aware, wounds. yeah, but like... Because he's, he's got plus 16 from barrel, so it's like 40... It's 46. Oh. So okay. I'm, I want to give him a no pass, so I have to put down the other g guy for this. Right. Which I agree is unfortunate, but, you know... Yeah. Needs must. If, if it's the only way. Yeah. Oh wait, Tony just disconnected. Oops, what happened there? Ooh, I think he had another power cut. Oh. Oh dear. Let's give him a few minutes to come back. But that's, yeah, so without using your one as a skill, that's 30, 50, 61, which is, which is actually three to pass, which is not good. <laughs> How is this only three to pop? You can. Oh, oh no, yeah. Chloris is beginning. Yeah. No. Yeah. Because uh, he has. How is this? He's 26, plus 5 from the crit trigger makes him 31. 31 plus 16 is 47, which is 46. You're 61 without a draw, and he was what? 46. Or 47, yeah, technically, true. yeah, which is yeah. unfortunate. But then it's fine, because then I'll have both my Glyphias face up, so I can just flip them down again to counter charge even more. Ha ha ha. Planned. <laughs> so, while we wait for Tony to rejoin us, I just want to talk a little bit more about Glyphia. Like, the fact that Glyphia does what it does just makes plays like this so safe. It's like you're not losing anything. Because you've got Chorus yeah. to refund the heal triggers. Like, I have just about enough soul that I can... Soul Blast 2 for the two Glyphias. Soul Blast 1 more for the Arsenal fleet that's going to be dropped from my hand for Stride. And it's just... And then I just have 4 counter charge open just to swing at his face with and just do all my Flood Hazard shenanigans. It's incredible. Yeah, and keep in mind, G-Guardians will never become worthless. Because, like, no matter what mechanic they add, we will always keep playing heals, to yeah. discard, and we we can always keep discarding them. So, no matter what Aqua Force gets, whether it's something Counter Blast heavy or something else, you will always be playing Galfilia, I believe, unless they come out with some insane G Guard that gets plus 50k or something stupid. Yeah, exactly. Like the only slight downside is that the play that I've done now, I've now gone through all four of my heal triggers. So now Tony knows where all four of my heals are. Like, regards to the deck, i.e. not in yeah. the deck. Which isn't great, it means I can't... Even though I can flip down the Galphilias again, I can't actually, like, turn them face up without using Alexandros, which is unfortunate. Yeah. Testing. There you go, you're back, hey. Oh my gosh, internet just died. So, in case you missed it, what I did was, I G-guarded once with a vanilla ice barrier, binded the two heals for a counter charge, G-guarded again with Galifia, then yes. G-Guarded again with Iwanas, binding the heals for counter charge again. And then here's a Malika okay. to make it no pass. And then no he pass. cheated. Oh yeah, I drew like five cards as well. <laughs> oh. Can I draw five cards? I mean, you're gonna do that anyway, right? Oh bang, shoot. Bang, bang. Not bang. Nice! Uh, uh, da, 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 31, 42. Hang on, let me just put these away. Okay. 41. 42, 41? Basically. Right. No crit, though. No crit. So that's 15 times 4 is 60, 60 plus 11. Yep, this is... <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Alright, end of turn, draw 2, this retires. Yep. Oh, that feels good. Right, draw. Wait, Holy why did shit. you put them back in the drop zone? Because they guard. Oh, because he? I just, like, I got, you guard with all of them. No, okay, hang on. How many do I need to guard with? He's 41. 
41, so I think you can get away with two. 3 max. Yeah, 3 gets there. Yeah. But I mean, isn't that overguarding a little? You have plenty of other shit to throw away. I don't want to guard with her though, because I want to use her. I mean, you can't use her and Arsenal fleet and Galias anyway. So... Right, I'm just gonna use her and Arsenal fleet, like why would I use Galias when I don't need to? Right, so you could just... Intercept with Galias and do two heals? Oh yeah, that works. Because yeah. you never know what the game will end up yeah. in and 15k guard is valuable. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. And then... Counter Blast 1, cool medal a draw, nice. Stride with Arsenal Fleet. Into Flood Hazard. Very oh, good. point, <laughs> point yep. of contention. Yes. If you're able to stride into Flood Hazard and straight up GB3 instantly, yep. uh, you don't need to value stride skill unless you need the draw. Uh, yes, you because are right. But I want the draw. And well, I guess Medla only gets 11k from the back row. Yeah. So this makes her at least 10, which isn't great, but or 12 with a GB3 effect. Because like the thing is, you put her behind Arsenal fleet. Usually I would. Oh yeah, I guess I could. And then that just means that this one does nothing, unless I go full ham. No. <laughs> Actually, wait. If I if I put this one here, the one with the stride skill, I could then put this one behind Arsenal Fleet, and it will be eleven, right? Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, and that works and out. One, two. No. One, but two. Technically three, four. speaking, you wouldn't have known that you would get a second med loss. So yeah, if you were yeah, like you wouldn't have put it in the front. in the front in the first place. Yeah, you're right. That's 17 again. She will just be 11. This will be 12 plus 6 is 18. Shouldn't Crayon have died from Barabu? Yes, good point. Mm. Get on my face, Crayon. So then I need to counter blast one for Flood Hazard and one more for Arsenal Fleet. So that's two soul. Okay. I have one Arsenal fleet in here, so I need one soul for that. Okay, so I can use Galphilia once. Don't forget to use an empty Yorgos on Medla from your drop zone for free 5k guard. Yep. Yes. I mean, I don't know if you... Yeah, I have to. Yeah, yeah. Effect, Medlar gets attack from back row. Nice. Oh, and actually counter charge from Galphilia. Oops. And then that gives me one more soul to use on Arsenal Fleet, who I'll just put at the top here, inconspicuously. Is there a reason this doesn't want to rearrange itself? There we go. That's that. And then... Okay. So that's 16, 20... Alright, so we'll go with 11. And you didn't stride skill, right? I did. Oh, okay. Five. Yep. You have nine cards in hand. It's fine. What's the worst that could happen? He G gods twice and I lose the GV8? That would I GV8? I, I think I'd just go into Barrowwall again. <laughs> yeah. Barrowwall's disgusting. It's pretty good. Can you believe that when he first got revealed, there were people who were like, Oh, this isn't that good. Yeah, some some guy named Boats. He's like, oh, he's a one of them. He's like, okay. Yeah. There's this guy. I mean, there's this guy that we know in a different Discord channel. Like we play Weiss yeah. with, and he's good at Weiss. But when and he's like a great nature main, I think. 
And when yeah. Barrel first got reviewed, he was like, this is okay. And then two weeks later, he's like, fuck, this card is broken. I guess uh. I had an underwhelmed reaction at first, purely because I was hoping we would also get some anti-control stuff like everyone was getting. Yeah. Mm. There's, there's that as well. But then when I realized that, like, Barrow just, like, same same thing as Alexandros from Barrowall is like he turns on the deck by himself. Yeah. Just because Soul Blast one, your success. Yeah, it's a solid card. I was just hoping like give something resist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what that that's actually what we're missing here. All right, what's the next attack? Did you five? Yeah, I gave you. All oh, right, okay, cool. Uh, then we'll Arsenal Fleet. Who's ten to guard? Ten to guard. Hmm. I'll take this one. Nice. <clears throat> then we will go 26 with 4 drive. 26 with 4 drive. Uh, I think all your crits are still in deck, actually. One's in the drop. Mm -hmm. so There's one here. I will... Oh, one there. Four is left in deck. One in five chance of seeing a crit. That's a bit too risky for me. Whoa. Give you the PG here. First. Second. Third. Fourth. Nothing. Okay, I could have no guarded. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Hindsight. So effect, draw, yep. counter charge. So. Wait, did I fuck up my attack order? Nope, I haven't. So then I attack with, I think, this column next, which is 20k, so 10 to guard. And then, at the end of the battle, this goes off. 10 to guard. Yep. So I can do that, and discard a Foivos, and another Foivos, stand my dude, flip another one, Soul Blast one. And then get this Arsenal fleet back. Yes. Okay. Hmm. So then I can go... 26 again. One drive. One drive. Here I will G-guard. Into... Spangle. Yep. Uh, first, I will use the heal triggers effect. Once upon a time, I'm using actually the heal trigger effect to soul charge. Yep. Seems reasonable. Next, I'll use Spangle. Yep. Counter Blast. Uh, flip up <coughs> the turtle. Mm -hmm. So this is 15. This is 1 to pass. This is 2 to pass. Yes. Withdraw 2 at the end. Yeah. So that's no, so no pass, pass, one drive check. Still no yellow cards. Brilliant. Draw two? Yep. So then that's just 16 again, without any bonuses. Well, 18, well, 18 but yeah. still 10 to guard. It. Yeah, alright. That's it. Alright. Let's go, Daddy-o. Man, it's so underwhelming when you don't draw your brutal troopers. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's the... Part digging part of Aqua Force. When is when is Blue Wave gonna get a a Conroe clone? Actually, I think at that point, I think I would have gone into Alexandros, considering how big your G Zone is right now. Maybe, yeah, good point. I'm gonna stride into. I mean, he didn't have a Foivos, so he wouldn't have the double restand bullshit. Yeah, I only checked my Foivoses on the drive check. I mean, like I had Meddlers. So I could have done shit with Meddler, but it's still not that great. I think, yeah, but it's it's not a yeah. typical. It, 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 yeah. it's, not, it's not as like heavy-handed as Alexandros turns in that Thavis would be. Yeah, like yeah. if I survive this time, I'm definitely gonna go into Alexandros because now I have a Foivos. Yeah, but that's if uh, I survive. All right. I mean, you still have Chloris. I do. The the girl is still there. Crayon Tiger. Crayon Tiger. Oh shit. He Nikkei Saburo. The boy wants to draw cards. Alright. Yep, 
uh, cards in hand. One, two, three, six. four, five, six. I'm gonna give three K to this crayon tiger. Yep. <laughs> I'll call Pondberry. Mm-hmm. Barrel wall skill. So Flip over seven. Zoa. Holy no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is plus 32 to my front row. So that becomes 36. And that becomes 32. Oh, right. Thank you. So... 43. So, hang on. That's 1, 2, 3, 4... Because Crown Tiger, this Crown Tiger won't go off again. Oh, it's when it's it boosted. No, 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 no. It will, it will, the once per turn will pass the second you attack a Vanguard. It's the same as Magnum Assault. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because so the, the boost hmm. comes after the restriction. Okay, okay. So. I see, I see. That's fair. Yeah, sure. Has to be like that, anyways. So that's still only four attacks, which is manageable. But you could attack Medla and then still get your extra draw of it. So you could still use both. No, I think Barrel Wall has to be when it hits a Vanguard. No, no, I mean, you can use double Crayon skill oh, right, if yeah, you yeah. attack a Rear Guard first and that way get an extra draw. Yes. Oh. You can see. The way I uh, tried to understand Crayon Tiger it says, like, when this unit attacks a Vanguard, if this is boosted, you may pay the cost. Yeah, and, yeah. And, like, the full condition is if this attack a Vanguard and boost it, right? No, because there's a comma. No. Oh, okay. It's a comma. Huh. Yes. So when this attacks Vanguard, effect goes off. And then it checks if this unit's boosted. being boosted, yeah. Oh, okay. I see, I see, I see. Interesting. So yeah, I guess I'll have to attack your Medla. And then I'll just let her die. Yeah. And then... This one will do this. Yep. And then I'll take this, this hit. I mean, I fucked up. You could have attacked the Arsenal fleet as well, because your Chennai had forgotten. So, okay. uh, yeah, Arsenal true. Fleet's also pretty good, but, uh, yeah, I'll take this. Oh, does that even matter? I guess I'll put 5k on Vanguard in case it matters. Just in case. Attack. Yep. Solon. Draw. I'll give you a PG. Yep. PG. Heal. Nice. Uh, I'll give... 5k to this one. Yep. Then now this one can go off. Yep. So At 39, it's 46. Nine. Yeah. Stand this. So 46. So I'm. That makes me 31. That makes me 46. That makes me 51. Yes. And so this will be the last attack at 54. 54, which I guess I can just PG again. Yeah. Alright. Uh, tutor my deck for grade 3. And draw 3. Mm -hmm. Alright. Because that was going to work, Ben. You don't kill me. I kill me. <laughs> I mean, I could just pass the turn. <laughs> Nah, go Alexandros. Yeah, I think I think I think you're right. That's actually interesting. So for that boosting. Oh uh, shit! Other, there's what, a problem what, here. What other? Uh... I don't have soul to use the stride skill. But you can't use stride skill on Alexandros because it has to be a blue wave unit. Yeah, and I guess I don't need it because I'll be like fucking GB nine. Yeah. What uh? What other examples of? It, when this attacks a vanguard, if it's boosted, etc, etc. Pretty much all Magnum the amber clones. Assault. All the amber Magnum clones. Assault. Just all the amber clones. Okay. Let's see. Do I use Valios' ride face skill? Does it make the clones... No, because you need to counter blast. For yeah. Arsenal fleet and... yeah. No, for Alexandros and Foivos. Yes. Yes, that is right. I mean, sorry if I'm being too... Um part of the game. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. Like, I, I still don't know 100% what I'm doing, as might be pretty obvious to some people, so it's good that you're here. <laughs> Alright, so let's just go ham. Slam the Foivos, slam the Chloris. Wow. <laughs> so she's going to be 11. 
He's going to be 15. No, he's going to be 11, because you only have two counter blasts and you need to use it on the Foivos. Because you need to go Arsenal, right. yes. Alexandros, and then push Arsenal and, and Foivos into power. So you have the third battle for Foivos. Or, yeah, it's it's third time only. Yeah, That's why. so I have to go... No, wouldn't you go like one, two, three or something? No, I think I'd go... No, I think you go okay, one... You can go... Yeah, yeah either way, it has to be a one, t this is second. Yes. Yeah, Al Alex needs to be second. So I guess I can just do one, two, yeah. three, and that's slightly better. Because then I get the bonus boost from Chloris. And this boost column, this boosting column also becomes filthy numbers. All right, so now right, that's... but Arsenal could also become filthy numbers, and then you would ha also have two big attacks. So I'm not yeah. sure if I maybe actually yeah, you might be right. Because like yeah, because like he's not worded like Lambros. You don't have to stand for the power. Because if he has a PG, he will just PG the Chloris thing anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's and right. also before you go into attacks, I'm gonna just do this for you right now. Oh right, yeah. Oops. Yep. Nice and uh, 20k guard right here. Medler can attack oh, from the back row four Medler times. Alright. That, that's how it works, right? She can attack from the back row and then attack from the back row, so I get four attacks, right? Mm, yeah. If that was true, blue waves would be nuts. <laughs> okay, I guess it doesn't matter like who the first swing is, because whoever it is is going to get stood by Alex anyway. Yeah, it just has yeah. to be Medler or Arsenal. It doesn't matter which one. Well, actually, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing for 16 at Vanguard. Okay. Oh, I, I see what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, you see what I'm doing. So that's uh, 10 to guard. 10. Yep. Yeah. And then I'll swing with Alex to then stand this and then give the power to these two. Exactly. Which is 8 times 5, which is 40. Throw you a PG on Alex. Yep. Oh! We'll give now the... deck yourself out. Yeah, man. We'll give the power to Foivos. Yeah. Bruh. It's gonna happen. <laughs> Alright. There's one left in the deck. Show it to me. <laughs> nice. That seems fair. Alright. Uh, Alright. So yeah. PG yep. after PG. Draw one counter charge. Yep. So then, Arsenal Fleet is 51. It's a good thing I nope, have no, 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 Arsenal Fleet, not I, wave third only, it's not third or more, so it has to be a yeah, Foy yeah. first, which is 40, 50, so it's 55, 55 plus 9 is a lot, that is 64, 64 plus 2, 66. PG, effective PG. Oh no, oh, don't boy. deny me this, no! <laughs> Get out of here, boy! <laughs> well, it's a trash card, can't even kill people! <laughs> you don't kill me, I kill you! <laughs> Alright, so uh, that's what, a 4 nil record for Arsenal for Aquaforce on stream? That's, uh, that's... Uh, specifying for Kaelin. So, what you do is um, Alex chooses two rear guards and stands them, but you don't have to stand them to give them the power. Yeah, so I choose the I choose the stand Arsenal fleet, but nothing happens because he's already standing. So then he just gets power. Yep. Oh, all right. Because otherwise the Metro's ruler play would be shit. Yeah. Yeah. And Cardfighter Sora mentioned that I misplayed one part when I used the Spangle G guard. I should have thrown my other cards out first and then used Spangle. Yep. Right. Yeah, because yeah. it gives the skill afterwards. Nice. So thank you, everyone. All right, this may slightly, uh, slightly messy games on stream, but uh, I think we've shown that uh, Aqua Force is gonna win Worlds 20, 2017. I, I think it will actually. I actually honestly do because I don't think that enough the people play Overlord. The problem is that they announced that they would look at the World Grand Prix to choose what to limit. So, so I'm hoping I mean, like, they don't win. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping they don't win because it's so dumb. Like, it's not because something wins that it's broken. It's yeah. like, okay, Odysseus should have been hit, 7C should have been hit, but nothing right now is 
painfully oppressive. Yeah, I, I agree. Like, the, I think the only change they should make is that Mick should go to two and Refros should go to two. Yeah, I agree. Refros to four, thanks. Refros to four, but then Errata it so you can't loop. Yeah. So, so something where like there's like a limit to how many times you can. Yeah, do it, so. sure. Some something like that. Like, I think I think the game's actually in a very healthy state right now. Like, you've got these yeah, me too. the three big bad control decks. Then you've got like these other top decks like Thavas who's trying to edge it on the muscle. And it's just like there's a very there's very lots of counterplay right now, which I really like. Yeah. And yeah. lots of interaction. So I, I would find it very sad if they just limit something because because, because of their opinion. Because it's yeah, just like... one yeah, just one a random tournament of forty people, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But yeah, that's uh that's some pretty good games. Like Yeah. At Force has always been one of those uh very interesting decks, and who knows? Maybe, uh, Best maybe we'll, plan. yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll see it come up at the world stage. So, just gonna give some quick shoutouts to Chris. Different fight, as you guys know, he's commentating a world. It's happening in two weeks. So, you know, set up your friends, set up stream parties, get ready for that. Spoiler uh, alert. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks again for Maxime Solemn Vanguard for joining us this week. You're very very insightful big help thanks for having me and uh yeah like let, you know, if you guys want to see some more guest commentators and some more guests you know, drop us a line tell me who you want and uh we'll see what we can do until then like as i said before the new year tony and i are trying out some new things this year and on monday we're going to be doing the meme stream where we're going to go through and see what bushiro recommends us to play for gpt 13 yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's no way that can go wrong. So, uh, <laughs> you know, follow us on Twitter, follow us on YouTube, follow us on Twitch, give Maxime some follows, some follows. Yeah. You know, so subscribe, subscribe <laughs> to his channel, I'll drop a, I'll try and drop a link to his channel in my Twitch description afterwards, and I'll also link to him in my YouTube VODs if you guys watch that. But definitely check that out and check us back again on Monday, and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace. Adios. Ciao.